Hello everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to rip from any games, at least most. Uh, there are three um, programs that I use. I use Asset Studio, I use UModel, and I also use Quick BMS. I will have a link to the, in the description to show you where you can download these and some of the tools as well. To get started, we're going to go on Asset Studio. Asset Studio allows you to rip from Unity-based games. So pretty much ABKs or PC games or even console based games. To get started, we get a file, load folder, and then we're going to select the folder we want to load. For example, here's my 7 Deadly Sins game file, so I'm going to select that and select folder. Keep in mind this might take a couple minutes, so you have to be patient. So I'm going to start this and I'll be right back. Alright, now that it's finished. You can see we have a lot of stuff in our scene hierarchy. Most of the time it can be a drag trying to get all the data out from this. There are certain things in here that make it nice. The pre-compiled maps make it easier to rip out. If you want to rip them, you simply expand it out and put a checkbox on it. To export it, you click export and then selected assets. It makes it fairly simple. Now, if you don't want to go through all these files right here, you can go to Asset List. Asset List has a bunch of different types, so it has texture, minor scripts, audio clips, etc. To get started, it will be easier if we filter out what we need. If you're looking to try to get the armature with the mesh, you want to select Animator. Here you can locate whatever files you need. So if you're looking to try to rip out anything specific, like Zeldris, you would just simply select it and then you get to export and then exports the an objects with animation clips or just selected objects. Now if you're trying to rip it with the animation intact, we're going to select animation clip as well. In order to do this, you have to end up selecting the mesh that matches it along with the animation clip. If you're doing a bulk export, you can simply click, then hold down shift, and then go to the line that you want to select all of them to. If you want to do singular ones that are separated, you're going to click, next you're going to hit control and hold it, and then you're going to select out the other ones that you need. You export this one out, you can export animator with selected animation clips. If you're simply looking for the mesh, you can just uncheck these and then select mesh and this will allow you to view it so if you don't know what a specific object is you can click on it and see what the object is unfortunately this does not work with the animator so now that SS Studio is out of the way we're gonna get into UModel UModel is kind of confusing in order for you to rip a very specific game, you need to use the game override detection. Most of the time, it's Unreal Engine 4, but you end up having to find which version of it it is. You could do this through trial and error, or you can use Gildar's site, and he can show you which one exactly it is. There will be a link in the description for that. Once you have located your engine type, some games also require an AES key, for example, Fighter Z. In order to extract those files, you need to find that AES key. Gildar's site usually has it. For me, I don't need to do any of this. I'm just simply going to use Moonbase Alpha. So I click OK. Now all the files are here and they're being located. You can expand out the folders and go to Packages. For me, it's Characters. Not all these will look the exact same because all the creators do it differently. For me, I'm going to click on this, which is the texture for the astronaut. And then to export it, we can simply click O, which will bring us back to this menu. You can select this and then click export. The files get exported wherever the location of view model is at. This works for meshes as well. You can also visibly see the meshes and rotate them around. For ripping the animation, you have to end up selecting the folder that is above the hierarchy. 
So for example, you see how we have lower folders. We're going to select this main folder up here, and then we can do an export on that. But in this case, there's no other things we can really export out. So that's it for U-Model. Next, Quick BMS. Quick BMS is kind of a confusing tool. It requires scripts to unpack and encrypt the games. So we're going to select one of these. Unfortunately, I do not have most of these games installed on this PC, but I can show you how to set this up. When you launch Quick BMS, it'll pull you up with this menu right here. You're going to locate the BMS script. Most of the time, you can actually look on Google for most of these scripts because they have them. If not, there's probably another tool in order to rip from the game you're looking for. If not, you might have to be patient and wait, or you could create your own script. So I'm going to randomly select a script because I don't have any other games. I'm going to click Open. Now, this is asking which folder would you like to select for the ripping. So I'm just going to select this random folder, and then I'm going to click Open. Now if I want to select this entire folder, I simply use Shift-8, which produces a star, and then you can click Open. Now this is where the output of the folder location is. You can create a new folder and export it out to that. So I'm just going to click Save and export it out right to here. I will probably end up getting a lot of errors. Quick BMS will let you know. But in most cases, this usually works if you have the correct files. Now when you rip from these games, it is very time consuming and it can also be very dependent on hard drive space. When you unpack certain games, it can double or even sometimes triple the amount of space. So make sure you have a lot of space on your hard drive. If you have any more questions or concerns, please let me know. I can feel free to break down the videos and have their own little separate for Asset Studio, for U-Model, and for Quick BMS for better explanation. That's going to be it for today, you guys. I hope you all have a good one.